Hello adventurers and welcome to the club. Today I want to talk to you. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to show you something. No, actually not even this. I want to take you along when I build something. You know, when I eat a can of tuna, I have done projects with the can itself, but I have never done anything with the lids. And so, today is the day for the lids. So, huh. My idea is to make this into a lantern. Yes, you have heard right, a lantern. So, let's start out. I have cut myself a little piece of mirror. I've actually cut this one in a different video. And it fits on here quite nicely. So, now let's put it on here and mark it. It's an old mark, huh? It was dried up long ago and so I just added some alcohol into it. That made it paint again. Not good, but it's perfect for jobs like this where you have to mark something. So, and now the world premiere of my Christmas present. Yeah, I've got a pair of tin snips for Christmas. <laughs> not the usual Christmas gift but you know a good tool is worth a lot and wow I am impressed it's like cutting butter well they are very working out very good here <laughs> impressive, very impressive. And now let's go to the bending part. Let's make sure you are here in at least a little bit of focus. And the idea actually is to bend this at several points. Just like this. Let me take the right tool for the right job. But if you're patient and don't do this on camera, you can of course use different ones. Yeah, just like this. I try to bend it so the mirror slots in. I should have cut it a little less and use double sided tape. This stuff is very strong and if you don't have the fancy tin snips or any of the other fancy tools you can of course do it this way which is fine you can also just go ahead and if you don't have a little mirror like this and just stick a piece of tin foil on it or just wire brush this till it is mirror shiny but we have to do some more things here. Yeah, you see? You got a hole. You can use, of course, if you don't have such a punch thing, you can use a nail. Size. Looks good. Looks good to me. So now I take the mirror and simply 
put it in here and glue it on just like this be careful when pressing it on you don't want to snap it let's take this piece here let's see just rip it in position and it's good to go fold it over fold it over again just like this and wrap it around your candle this is actually just to make the candle hold you put it in and squeeze it like this just pinch it together so it can't fall out again <laughs> wow this looks really nice looks very vintage yeah yeah and it gives up, uh, gives up plenty of light here it doesn't even reach the full reflector yet yeah this looks really nice <laughs> yeah I like it <laughs> I like it a lot yeah, and it was actually supposed to be stuck to the nail was stuck to be uh, supposed to be stuck directly to it, but <laughs> this nail has a bit of a bigger head than usual, so <laughs> I had to put a piece of wire on it. But yeah, it looks good, works great, <laughs> better than expected. Yeah, but yeah, of course. It's an open flame and this is not the kind of channel where I build something and don't warn you of eventual dangers because as soon as the candle has burned down beyond the line here of the tin foil, it will fall and could catch something on fire so use it outside of a fireproof surface or something like this. Yeah, but <laughs> it looks really good, I like it. I mean, come on, it's a piece of a tin can. So, I hope you've enjoyed this project and, well, I'll see you next time here at the Adventures Club. <laughs> yeah, a really neat little thing. <laughs>